why I freaking love Maxthon. I had an email asking uh, what I'm using to record the, sc the screencasts with. Um, well, my browser of choice is Maxthon. I, uh, I have Internet Explorer and Firefox, which both have the uses, but for particular day-to-day -day tasks that I perform, Maxthon is definitely the choice for me. And I will show you why, and I'll show you why through how I'm using it. Um, I'll start off with this screen. I think we're all familiar now that when we close down Internet Explorer or Firefox, we're asked if we want to uh, reopen the groups when we uh, relaunch the application later. But instead of opening up all the pages and waiting for them to download, etc., Maxthon does it differently and presents you with a list like this, which I think is uh, is is better because you can keep that this list uh, for as long as you you need and sometimes when you've got several tabs open and you can't get through them all because you're interrupted or whatever you might not even have a chance to to review them the next day so you can keep them there uh, which i find extremely useful uh, moving on now in the sidebar here which i mouse over will open there you go i can got my twitter feed there coming through which i can see perform uh, advanced google searches these are the things that you can, additional add-ons you can download there's my web development doofa. Got delicious there. Got Google Calendar, which I'm not allowing you to see. And there's my RSS feed. Now, how I'm using this? Well, I to give you an example, I perform, I do a, a bit of volunteering for the Oil Depletion Analysis Centre (ODAC), and what I do there is basically just monitor the news and submit any articles which are relevant to the oil, the oil industry. And one of the websites I use, and in fact, most the, the main one I'm using to monitor is the Telegraph and. So each day I'll come to the RSS feeds, look, see what articles are in there. And then, oh yeah, let me just see. You'll see a green squiggle now as I switch pages. That was in fact what uh, prompted the person to, to email me. That's mouse gestures, basically. Uh, it's just a bit of a time saver. So I can scroll down or shove it up <laughs> and go left and go right and do, if I was on there, uh, I can go to the previous web page as well if I'd moved forward or back in the chain which are, is not apt here. So, okay, I'm, I'm interested in submitting this article here. Now, I'll go to my Groups tab, because I can save all tabs into a specific group. Now, that's my ODAC one. If I look inside there, I can see I've got two web pages, which I can either select individually or just merely click on the actual thing, Group tab there, and have both pages open automatically, which can be useful. For the purposes of this demonstration, though, I'm just going to show you how I use it to submit an article. Now, it can be a bit of a pain, as you can see, to switch between tabs, copying and pasting the relevant information. But with this, I go to a new reader tab there, and boom! Got two tabs open in a split screen. So, let's just show you how I'll use it there. No copy and pasting required here, kidder. Oh, come on. Just drag it over into the next screen there, and boom! Titles in, no copying and pasting. Another feature I'm using here is Magic Fill. Um, every time I open this particular page, in this particular page only, it will automatically insert the word telegraph into that field there, because I'm extremely lazy and don't wish to type it in every time I visit this page. So that's useful. It can also auto-submit information that you save as a template. It can also be used to automatically log you into forums or whatever i mean it's just it's a very useful feature and you can uh, customize the fields as well if i want to close this down back into a single page i just drag the tab over there to the left close that using a mouse gesture what else do we use well one of the probably the most frequently used feature that i use in this web in this um, browser is this now i'll just highlight a word there which maybe something someone said in a forum whatever and I want to chase it up see what else I can find out about it on Google so I'll just highlight it again because the mouse seems to be unresponsible unresponsive there you go drag it across and boom opened in Google searched the word electricity and there you go I mean I just cannot emphasize enough how useful that feature is it's just indispensable in my in in my view. Um, something else that I might use for blogging is, uh, although we don't condone this because it's copyrighted images, but where applicable. Yeah, I don't know whether you 
whether you can see that there's like a, a small floating toolbar there that, that appears if I click it and go to another dialog box there which I know you can't see um, I have now downloaded that image to my hard drive as you can see there of course it's copyrighted so I will immediately delete it but um, you can go to sites like the uh, Creative Commons and, uh, and find non-copyright images there uh, very useful uh, what else let's go down to the information bar here of the uh, of the browser that there is telling me there is a small amount of internet activity uh, might be on another browser I've got going I don't know uh, but otherwise I should be really worried about that there's a button there which instantly mutes all sounds coming from web pages useful for those annoying websites like MySpace that insist on blasting your speakers when you're not least expecting um, this button here the show hide collector this is useful um, so I'm researching an article for instance um, a thesis uh, so I can just simply drag text over like that it's automatically saved I can create new tabs for different subjects that one there for instance I use for uh, as a, a ready-made template for submitting my site details to directories um, you can save each tab as a text file you can also upload to the cloud which can be useful if you're on a different PC using Maxthon and uh, you get instant access there so that's the collector what else ah this button here note how it says zero okay let's disable it switch it off and visit one of my favorite websites here we go Oops. Uh, bah, bah, bah. you ready for this okay Sorry about that. Note how long it take, took to download and look at all these adverts. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so let's reinstate the filter. Refresh the page using a mouse gesture, you'll notice, and look how quick it is to download now. And you'll see a distinct lack of adverts. It doesn't make the page any more pleasant to view I agree but look at the number now 23 adverts blocked and it's easy to add um, more adverts into the filter it comes comes preset with their uh, templates as filters you can also add to it let's get rid of that I'm sorry about that what else screen capture here's a nice little nifty utility I can capture the full screen a region a window current web page all web pages in the browser uh, let's just demonstrate the region so I'm researching an article yet again there's a, uh, an extract I wish to include within it or it could be in a movie even I can just drag a portion out like that of a region I can adjust and fine-tune the positioning and sizing click enter enter the file name click save and boom downloaded to the hard drive to be used in an article or uploaded to web server later excellent feature another one up one level this can be quite useful when you wish to uh, lots of sites these days are, are uh, structured hierarchically through the URL which you can see in the address bar there so if we just demonstrate this you'll see us actually climbing up the tree sometimes can be useful to find other uh, articles for instance to do with wind power or energy or earth like so um, what else this one I use quite frequently for blogging or writing articles uh, it's a, it, it is an add-on which I've uh, had to install highlight text click on that and paste it like so boom and you'll see it's pasted it formatted as a block quote the actual text I extracted and also includes a formatted link with the title of the web page included for SEO friendliness very time-saving feature indeed what else sometimes you uh, close a tab by accident clicking or pressing alt Z reinstates the tab uh, instantly I mean it's surprised now often I actually do use that so it's, uh, it might seem trivial but it's it's quite useful um, what else 